I don't know. Of course. It all depends what one was accustomed to. For instance, it took us a long time to get used to having no orderlies in the house. But I have to say it was all fairness. It may not be like that in other places. But in our town, the most decent, the most honorable, the most well-bred people are in the army. Uh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'd like some tea. Don't bring it some. I was married when I was 18. And I was so terrified of my husband because he was a teacher and I was barely out of school. And at that time, I was thinking that he's so well learned, clever, important. But unfortunately now, it is different. Yes, that's how it is. I don't speak of my husband. I've grown used to him. But among civilians, generally, there are so many ill-bred, ill-polite, coarse people. And when they see that men is not fine enough, not gentle enough, I simply suffer. When I'm among teachers, and my husband friends, I'm simply miserable. Yes, but it seems to me that it's all the same, whether they're civilian or military men. They're equally not interesting in this town, at any rate. It's all the same. If you listen to one of the local intelligentsia, either civilian or military, he's sick and tired of everything. Sick and tired of his wife, or his home, or his estate, or his horses. A Russian is peculiarly given to an exalted way of thinking, but tell me, why is it that in life he falls so short? Why? Why? Why indeed? Why is he sick and tired of his children? Sick and tired of his wife? Why are his wife and children sick and tired of him? You're not in a good mood today. Perhaps not. I'm not eating today. I've not been to eat since this morning. One of my daughters is not well. And when my girls are ill, I am seized with anxiety. My conscience torments me for having given him such a mother. Oh, if you could have seen her this morning. What a worthless creature. Mm -hmm. We began quarrelling at seven o'clock this morning, and at nine I slammed the door and left. I never talk about this strangely enough. I complain only to you. Mm -hmm. I don't be with me. Except for you. I have no one. Mm -hmm. Father died. There was a wailing in the chimney there, just like that. Are you superstitious? Yes. That's strange. You are a splendid, wonderful woman. <laughs> splendid, but wonderful. It's dark here. The sparks in your eyes. There is light in here. When you talk to me like that, for some reason I laugh. Although 
home on the bright. Please don't say it anymore. say it. I don't mind. I don't mind. So who's coming? What a terrible thing to have happened. Kisanovsky Street has burned to the ground, apparently. Take this one. And that. The Russians had a try for things. The house almost nearly burnt. Everything is burnt up, poor little ticks. There's nothing left. What a horror this is, and how tiring. I'm so tired, I could hardly stand up to my feet. We mustn't let the Russians go home. The little girls, they can, they can stay at the drawing room. Alexander Gnatch, too, can stay at the barons. Um, but Dotix, too, can stay at the barons. We can stay at the reception room. Even the doctor, as if on purpose, got drunk, perfectly drunk. No one can stay with him. Vershni's wife, too, can stay at the reception room. Olyusha, oh dear, don't send me away. No, no, don't send oh, me away. Of course, dear. You're talking nonsense. Nobody's sending you away. My own. My treasure. I work. I work hard. When I get feeble, they'll say, go away. And then where will I go? I'm 80, going on 82. You must sit down, nurse. Rest, my dear. You poor spring, look at how pale you are. They say we should form a committee at once. Why not? It's a fine idea. Indeed. We shall always be ready to help the poor. That's the duty of the rich. <laughs> Bobby can so much car fast asleep. Sleeping as if nothing happened. There is such a lot of people in a house. Whenever you turn, there are people, people everywhere. There is influence in a town. I'm afraid that children may catch it. Maybe 
can't see the fire from this room. It's peaceful here. Yeah, I suppose. I'm so disheveled. People say that I've gained weight, but that's not true, not at all. Masha's sleeping. Poor thing. Don't you sit down in my presence. Stand up! Get out! Why do you keep that a woman for? I cannot understand. Excuse me, but I cannot understand. She's incapable of work. She's a peasant. She should live in the country. What a pampering. I like order. Order in the house. There shouldn't be any useless servant in the house! Oh, oh dear. Our headmistress is starving. When I grow up, I mean, when Sofitka grows up and goes to high school, I'll be so afraid of you. I shan't be the headmistress. Oh, you'll be elected. I cannot. I shall refuse. I don't have the strength for it. You know, you are so rude to the nurse just now. But excuse me, I am in no situation to endure. I just can't stand it. Forgive me. I often talk too much, that's true. But you must agree. She should just live in the village. You must understand, my dear, that perhaps we were brought up in a peculiar way, but such an attitude oppresses me. I feel ill, simply sick at heart. Forgive me. Forgive Any me. Rudeness. A slightest word, even a tactless bit upsets me. Well, I often talk too much, that's true. But you have to agree, she should live in a village. She has been with us for 30 years. But she's incapable of working. Either I don't understand or you don't understand me. She just sleeps or sits. Then let her sit! What do you mean, let her sit? She's a servant, isn't she? I don't understand you, Ola. I have a nurse. I have a wet nurse. We've got a servant. We have a cook. Why do you need that woman for? For what? We must come to an understanding, Gola. You are at school. I'm in a house. You've got your teaching. I have the housekeeping. And if there is anything I said about the servants, it's because I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. And by tomorrow, that witch, that old hag will be gone. And don't you dare to cross me. Don't you dare to cross me. We don't move downstairs. We'll be quarreling all the time. That's awful. 